welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about skin and how I take care of my skin and how I try to combat acne and breakouts and all that kind of stuff. I suffer from it. I know sometimes it helps to know maybe different tricks that other people use that you may not know of. So first thing is, is the obvious that everybody says is drink a lot of water. That, and if you notice, when you eat clean foods and healthy foods, you actually have much better looking skin. When you eat a lot of things like fast food and takeout and stuff like that, your skin wants to purge it all just like your body does. So it just starts breaking out and getting blotchy and just not healthy looking. So definitely try to, you know, eat healthier every now and then. Have something nice if you'd like to go out to eat or... Um, go to in and out or something, just, you know, 80-20 rule is what I say. So right now I'm dealing with like hormonal acne, which obviously there's nothing I could do, but usually my skin, it hasn't had too many breakouts lately, but when it does, there's this cool little thing that's uh, called Tanda Zap. It is a UV light, uh, blue light to help kill the bacteria, to help minimize the um, size of the bump and to just help it die a lot faster. I know a lot of people say don't pick them, don't pop them because it leaves scars. Me personally, I can't walk around with something like that so if I do and it's really bothering me, I don't use my fingers because your fingers have oils on them anyways and then also if you have nails or anything it's going to just d jab at your skin. So use a q-tip. Don't like push really really hard and hurt yourself. Just you know a little bit to get it out or relieve it, whatever helps you. I use Q-tips. So um, I can't show you on there because it would really probably hurt your eyes. But just a blue light helps um, kill the bacteria. It heats up a little bit, but it doesn't feel hot on your skin by any means. You just hold it on your problem area until the light goes off and it shuts off. And it will let you know when it's done. And then it just kind of has these little ridges on it. You can move it around if you just have a problem area over here. But I like to just hold it on like if I have one blemish, just hold it there until the light goes off. Another thing is natural facial cleansing pads with tea tree oil from Trader Joe's. I've seen a lot of these um, other places as well if you don't have a Trader Joe's. Whole Foods has them. Um, I believe Sprouts has them too. But they are really strong and they just like burn your eyes they're so strong smelling but it doesn't hurt your eyes it's just the smell but the tea tree oil in it is really nice when you're done taking off your makeup and stuff just to wipe it over your face before your toner because it really just helps to like clear the makeup in your pores just clear the oil from the day or sweat whatever it may be and just take care of it and it's just a normal size um, pad they smell really bad but it's not like a it's not like a foot and sock odor <laughs> it's just like a tea tree smell so if you know what tea tree oil smells like then you'll know um I don't have tea tree oil just plain by itself but you can as well put that on your skin and they just say to dilute it with a little bit of water like on a q-tip so you're not just putting it straight on your skin the next thing I have is this is by Shea Terra Organics. It's Argon Rosemary Facial Cleansing Oil Gentle Purification for All Skin Types, 100% natural, made with 90% certified organic ingredients. And this is two fluid ounces, and it will last you a long time. Same thing, it has a powerful smell, um, but it smells like, like rosemary and oil and just like very woodsy. But after you take off all your makeup and you do all that stuff, sometimes there's still stuff left in your skin on your pores. And this is amazing. It is just, it just takes it off. Whatever is still left, it removes it. And you'll be surprised how much dirt you still find or makeup you still find on your skin after you're done washing it. So I really recommend this. And it is very moisturizing. And then the next thing that I use, if I do have a breakout, I use the Tanda Zap. Depending on how bad it is, I use the Murad Clarifying Mask. 
and I don't use it all over my whole face. I use it as a spot treatment. So just take a little bit, put it on there. It just helps to have a drying effect. It gets rid of the redness faster. It helps heal it faster. Sorry about that. Battery problems. So one thing I like to do too is to use this Mario Badescu skincare drying lotion. You just stick a Q-tip in it straight through all of the oil and the cream on the bottom. Don't like tip it or move it that's supposed to be separated like this and just dab it on your problem area and it also helps dry it overnight and then I just wash it off. It helps it go away a lot faster. And then under my makeup, if I'm having a lot of bad breakouts, I will put the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer, suitable for blemished skin, um, pores look smaller, skin looks pure, smooths, primes, and instantly mattifies. So I just put this over in my T-zone or any areas that are already getting bothered because my makeup, all makeup, it doesn't matter for my skin, it always seems to clog it more and then I get more breakouts. So I like to try to help it with this as well. And then if you, you know, good old concealer afterwards helps to cover up everything and, you know, everybody goes through acne stages, so don't worry about it too much. Don't let it get you down. And I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.